One concept that Year 12 chemistry students often struggle with is the difference between rate of reaction and extent of reaction. Rate of reaction is how fast a reaction proceeds, whereas extent of reaction is overall how much reactant is converted to product and is often referring to equilibrium systems. You have probably learnt about rate of reaction in earlier years of science. However, chemical equilibrium and extent of reaction is a bit more complicated and only really appears in Year 12. So revising from earlier years of science, rate of reaction can be increased by a number of factors. This includes temperature, concentration, pressure if the reactants are gas particles, and increasing surface area. You may have also heard of adding a catalyst. All these factors increase the rate of reaction, but not necessarily the extent of reaction. Now the extent of reaction is fixed. It doesn't change as much as rate of reaction does. The extent of reaction is indicated by the K constant or equilibrium constant of a system. The only thing that can change an equilibrium constant is temperature. In an equilibrium system, if a reaction is endothermic, increasing the temperature will increase the yield or the extent of reaction. However, if a reaction is exothermic, increasing the temperature will actually decrease the yield. The difference in effect of temperature on rate of reaction and extent of reaction often poses as an issue in industry. If a reaction is exothermic and we lower the temperature, then the yield will increase. However, if we lower the temperature, then the reaction might proceed so slowly that it's no longer economically viable. So in industry, we need to find a temperature known as the intermediate temperature that balances between the extent and the rate of reaction. This is a temperature that is high enough so that the rate of reaction is fast enough to be economically viable, but it is also low enough so that the yield is sufficient. Hopefully this video will help clarify the difference between rate of reaction and extent of reaction. Thank you for watching.